Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio Fu and let's go ahead and use that hex crank. 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 Let's see what- oh my goodness. Okay, I see what's gonna happen. Alright, so we need to move this statue over here. Alright. And I can't use the crank because the stat oh god damn it. Really? Alright, so we gotta leave the room and enter again because we can't use the hex crank because of the statue, even though that shouldn't actually block us from using the hex crank, and that would make the puzzle a lot easier, but that's why they probably did it. So we just leave, come back again, and there we go, the statue's back. Just use the hex crank again, because for some reason, even though it's a thin little thing like that... And look, it's totally not in Chris's way. And we'll just move the statue in the way of the hex crank again. <laughs> no, we'll move it um, right there should do. I think so, at least. Well, I mean, if it's anywhere in front, it should work. Yeah, see, see? Yeah, see? Yeah. No, 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 no. No. Yes, yes, that's what we want to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that fake gangster voice, especially like the three pigeons that they have in the Animaniacs or whatnot. Alright, so what'll this give us? Will this give us the wolf? No, will you take... Oh, Doom Book number two. Yeah, let's... For, I forgot that the Eagle Medallion was in Doom Book number one, jeez. Alright, so let's see, what does this one say? Uh... Eagle of East, Wolf of West. Oh, that's what Doom Book one must have said as well, I just couldn't... Nothing important, I doubt it. Haha, -ha, there was a medal in the book. Out of the book, out of the book. Take one wolf, put it in a fountain. <laughs> I hated that show growing up. Which is weird because everybody else loved it, apparently. I just, I thought it was a dumb show. Now, Bear in the Big Blue House, now that was a, that was a cool show. I mean, you had a bear, a guy in a bear suit with otter puppets and... That's really the only character I remember, other than the bear, of course, because, you know, bear in the big blue house. But, um, <laughs> no, all I remember is the two... Were they otters? Yeah, I think they were. I don't even remember their names. I, lo I watched a lot of kids' shows, even though I was too old for them, because I liked them. <laughs> I mean... It was my sister and brother watching them, but I'd watch them too because I liked them. Whatever. I don't care. I like kids' shows. I think they're cool beans. Much better than all the crap that you have on TV for regular people. Jeez. Um. What was I thinking of? What was I saying again? No, I really like the animated ones the best, though, like PB and J Otter. That was... I love that show. I haven't seen it in forever. Hey Arthur, that was fantastic. I mean, come on. It was a song that made me love reggae before I knew re what reggae was. And even now, I don't love reggae. <laughs> Alright, so what does that do? That gives us cutscene. Wow. Is there going to be a ladder, or is this going to be a boss? There's going to be a spiral staircase, I guess. Well then. Let's grab some herbs. <laughs> Why the heck not? Yes, I will. 
what I should do is I should use one of the green herbs to heal myself. I should go back and mix the other one with a red herb. Uh, that takes too much work. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do it. It'll take like two minutes. I'm expecting something to come out, like, bursting out of that door or something, like... Pyramid Head in Silent Hill 2 chasing you down the alleyway. Like, that's why I was so freaked out by that alleyway with the dogs in the garden, because I thought that something was going to be chasing after me, because it looks almost exactly like that alleyway from Silent Hill 2. That... So much so, that I was more scared of that than anything else, because... Silent Hill 2 is the scariest game I've played. <laughs> because it, it scares me about real life things. I mean, that's how, that's how amazing a horror game it is, that it's not even... Yes, I will mix the herbs. It's not even... That it has, like, a thing in the game that's scary, but it's only in the game. It has things that bleed over into the real world, like, 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 um, hiding in closets. I mean, with the, with the horizontal slats that you can peer through. If I ever had to do that, I'd probably be freaked out of my mind just because I'd expect something gruesome to happen. <laughs> something horrible. Um, let's see, other examples. I can't really think of any, like, I'm not freaked out by hospitals because of that. I actually like hospitals because I kind of like the antiseptic spell. Smell, to be honest. I mean, I know that's one of the things that freaks people out the most about a hospital. Oh, it's a neat little elevator that is again blocked by my monkey. He's just a monkey with, like, a hand on his hip, um, kneeling down with a mirror in his hand, giving, like, a devilish grin, and oh my goodness, and just smiling back at himself. That's so weird. Alright, so we're underground. No, wait. Laboratory? Oh my. And we have some serious music. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. What does this say? Can we read it? No, we can't. Well, we can't go. I'm not going down. The, yeah, I'm not going down the those yet. All right, let's see what this says. Emergency exit. Do not open unless under first class emergency. Well, I'm the second class because I'm a working man. The door is tightly locked. There's a plate on right hand side. All right, so I guess we have to hit some sort of sort of emergency switch to get out of there. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Well, I have no other choice. I'm just hoping that there's no hunters down here, because I'm assuming because we're in the laboratory. Oh, hey. <laughs> we didn't even need to go back for the red herb or anything. Just checking my, checking my surroundings, you know? Oh. My. I'm expecting something horrible to just go on beyond here because you know they got they've got this so you can prepare get everything you need which I am going to take the beretta actually because uh I feel like that's going to serve me better than the colt actually Wait a minute. 
Maybe not, because we've only got one clip. No, I'm gonna take the Colt then. Where did I put the Colt? Where did I put the Colt? Where did I put? Okay, it's up here. There we go. Oh, thank God. I was panicking there for a second. I thought my baby was gone. Oh my God, that is a tall door. That's almost like twice the height of Chris. Jeez. But yeah, no, I'm expecting something horrible to happen just because of the way it's lighted. Like, spotlight on that door, supply crate right there. Let's find out, shall we? Plus, it's a new type of door. Why can't we peer through the grates below? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. It's just a zombie. We've, we've taken care of these guys before. By the way, thank you, Richard, for pointing out to me. Oh, by the way... It's a shotgun, silly. If you're closer, you do more damage. Ah, there you are. I don't want to wake the other guy. Okay, don't be able to pathfind you. Okay, there you are. Or not. There we go. Come on, pathfinding AI. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. You can find your way around the around the banister. I'm going to pick up the knife because the zombies have fallen. I need to check their bodies. Wow, that's really gruesome sounding. I need to check their bodies. <laughs> All right, I am going to leave the cult, though. Because I feel like more ammo is going to be better than having something that I'd rather save for hunters. All right, so let's see. Plus, I'd rather use the Beretta on the zombies than the shotgun, because otherwise we're wasting ammo. I mean, might as well use the basic ammo before we use the shotgun. I mean, it makes sense to me, you know? I'm saying I mean a lot of times. Alright, so I'm guessing those two zombies died. I wasn't expecting that loud of a sound to come when we traipsed across there. Alright, he's not up the stairs yet then. I'm guessing he's at the bottom, actually. Or around that corner. Is that a corner? can't tell. Oh, yes, that is a corner. I saw you. I saw that coming. I'm not the foolish guy I was 20 episodes ago. Well, I am the foolish guy I am 20 episodes ago, but I know how to deal with you zombies the right way. Whoa, 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 whoa. And the right way this time would be Shotgun. <laughs> oh, that's that's so satisfying. I did not know you could shoot off a zombie's head by shooting them in the body. Kind of silly, but whatever. We're not in this game for it being serious. What is this? An what? Another MO disc? Alright, well, you know what? Once we run out of ammo. And you're an adding machine? I don't know. Right, what room is this? Visual data room. There's a plate. Visual data room. Is this where we have to bring the ammo desks? It's electronically locked. Well, I guess we're not going to be bringing the ammo disk there anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, Alright. I'm on to you, zombie. I know you're down there. I heard you. I heard you growling at me, going like, Oh. What? <gasps> oh my god. That's terrible.
was that noise it made? All right. It still sounded human. Like that, I can't see. Okay. Oh, that's a terrible noise. But I've got to kill you because you're going to try to kill me. It's not right, but. Whoa, it's too dark to see anything. I can actually peer in that hole? That's. Surprising. Okay, there's one more hiding around here somewhere. I can hear him. Whoa. Is he gonna come after us now? Hopefully. I bet he's around that corner. No, Chris isn't taking aim at anybody, so. Where is he? There's one more guy. No, Chris isn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy, but it's you or me. Don't hate me for this. I'm so sorry. Alright, that's everything. Plus, again, the music doesn't help. Okay, that's everybody, it seems. I'm so sorry. This is like the... the what are they? The Splicers? From... Uh, no, not Splicers. That's Bioshock. The hybrids from System Shock being like... No, 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 because they're like, run away! Like, I have no control over my actions. No, this is like the zombies from Half-Life 2. Like, people have played back clips of them screaming out in pain and agony when you burn them, and it turns out that their, their noises are people screaming backwards. Help! Help me! Oh, God, help me! It's terrifying and horrible. Now these guys, if anybody was to come back, it would be these guys. Oh. Alright, well, anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio X Fu. As I continue to feel horrible about this. Oh my god. I, I, these guys are just so pitiful. They're one of the first zombies I've, I've, I've ever felt bad for. Alright guys, take it easy.